prepping at Guns America Digest. If you haven't subscribed to Guns America Digest, you should do so at gunsamerica.com slash digest as these videos usually come with an article that has a lot more details and product links. This week I am covering uh, a very strange product. This is a solar cooker. Okay, and when I first saw this thing, I said, what's the deal here? Because have the original mainstream solar cooker called the Sun Oven back in the Prepping 101 days. And it's a great product that's a pain in the neck to use. You have to, um, you have to move it with the sun on this kind of peg system that it has. And it works great. I bake bread in it. And, and I'm going to bake bread in this one. But, but it's, it is expensive. It's, about, I think, about three or $400. And it is um, difficult to use with a very small growing, growing, uh, cooking, cooking area. Um, so I saw this, this, this product, all right? And I guarantee most of you have never even seen anything like this before. It is a sun oven, and it works. Oh, oh, I guess it works. It wasn't even in the sun. It works with a little oven compartment, if you see, okay? And I had no idea that it was going to be, it actually, I feel it, I'm going to get burn blisters from it. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a put in oven. And it's cheap, right? I mean, that was my, I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll get one of these and review it. And if it's good, I'll, I'll, I'll have the Star and Bullock hardware guys bring it, bring it into the country, okay? So I, I got it and, 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 and tried it, and it works. So uh, I, I just can't even tell you how cool this thing is because it ain't no cheap thing. Yes, this is just some cheap, you know, cheap steel. But this, which is probably really hot. No, it's not. The outside is not hot. This is a glass tube. I figured that it was going to be plastic and that it was going to, that, that the food would be smelly when you cook in it and all that kind of stuff. But you know what? It isn't. Um, it's glass. And this is actually a, a sealed chamber with a vacuum, it's a double glass. It's a vacuum sun oven. So that glass is a vacuum tube. And inside is a smaller compartment that you put in your stuff. Now, can you put a lot of stuff here? No, but a lot of you guys are cooking for one or two people. And my primary advice, I'm gonna touch that again, my primary advice to you guys ongoing has been to buy flour, right? That flour is 4,600 calories per dollar at Walmart. It's a little bit less now because I saw that three pounds of flour now is three, uh, 10 pounds of flour is now $3.30 instead of $3. Um, but it's still the best value that you can find and flour has all the protein and all the nutrients and everything. They're all enriched now, the flours that you buy. Um, everything you need pretty much is in flour. And if not, it'll be in flour and beans and rice and, 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 and oil and the other stuff that I've told you to get with the flour that's, that may not be 5,000 calories per dollar, but is well over 1,000 calories per dollar, unlike the prepper food that is 100 to 200 calories per dollar. So yes, I have to do that spiel every time I think of it. Um, this sun oven is, is, is about half the price of the regular sun oven, and it is an extremely robust product. So I will cook some bread, not a lot of bread, but I will cook some bread in it and show you um, just how it works. So here we are with our sun cooker, okay? And the, the 
as I said, the, the unique thing about this is the vacuum sleeve that is around the inside glass. The inside glass is black and the outside glass is clear. So you have a true greenhouse effect inside the, the, the tube because the, 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 the vacuum between the inside tube and the outside tube makes it impossible for heat to transfer. transfer. Heat can't really transfer without some particle of something to flow through, okay? And a vacuum has no particle. So supposedly, and the heat would have no place to go. Theory one, two, three. So I'm going to now just leave it and keep it, you know, I'm just gonna just keep it in the sun and just let it sit there and cook. So, and um, pretty good looking bread actually, but I will redo this with a with a, a thinner you know with a thinner piece of bread. But that's a pound of that's a pound of flour a loaf of bread, and everything right up to the end is edible. So that that's pretty impressive. I mean it's 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 been out here maybe an hour, and I started it at about three o'clock. It's about four something now, and um, you know I just let it cook. I should note that it does come with its own backpack. Um, it says solar vacuum cook. It. This product is kind of a score, I have to tell you. So I'm back here for another day, and what I've done is I, I made the same batch of um, four ingredient um, bread dough, and I took about, I'd say, half of it this time. And it looks like I'm still a little bit hefty. But I'm not going to put it all the way to the end here because um, I know that for sure the end doesn't cook. But, but some of this is probably going to touch. Um, it's no problem, really. It is about 3 o'clock. It's a little bit cloudier today. Um, so I'm going to, you know, we'll see, we'll see just how it goes. Um, this guy, um, I, I figure while I'm, while I'm doing this, I could answer some Probably would have probably going to be some questions on this. Um, like I said, you can use a shadow to really center your oven on the sun. Is you know, can you use this to sterilize water? Yes, this has this metal compartment has definitely has welds at the ends, and you could use this very easily to sterilize water. I think your welds are going to rust eventually, but. You could just, you know, dry it off and, and oil it and whatever if you wanted to, if you really were concerned about, um, you know, rust. I am not, you know, rust is actually a good source of iron, um, but it would, you know, cut down on the life of the, of the unit. The, um, the, the thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to cook hot dogs or meat in this because I am keeping this for myself. There's only... Um, So um, I'm going to myself, and I'm not going to make it times about the kosher thing. If I cook meat in this, I won't be able to cook bread in this and be able to eat it with all of the butter that I have canned. If you missed my segment on butter in my article at grid, grid.com, butter is easy and it's fantastic. So I am not going to cook meat solar. Thing is cooked for off-grid living more than anything, and I'd like to be able to eat it with butter without having to compromise. And that's just me. So my second run has actually had a lot of shade 
And as you see, it rained last night, and I didn't clean off the water spots from the... I left it out in the rain. But even in a moderately, you know, whoa, even in a moderately, uh, moderately kind of partly cloudy day, um, this is, is baked well, and it's a little too hot for me to take out. But yeah, nice crunchy, crunchy crust on the bread. And like I said, this is a, I will, in the article that comes along with this, I will put um, the recipe that I used for the bread because it's, it's a pretty good recipe. Now, as you can see, it didn't cook as evenly down here. This is still cooked bread. Um, but I didn't, I didn't seal it or tape it on this end. You could also, I was thinking, maybe you could, um, maybe you could just tilt it, you know, so that it stays more tilted in toward the sun that way. Or you could just do what I did before and just tape it. You know, it's, it's no problem to just tape it. And packing it up, I might as well, well, I've got the camera going here. I might as well show you how to pack it up, even though it's still hot right now. Um, it's really not that hot to the touch because the... It's not hot to the touch at all, actually, because there's a vacuum here protecting the outside glass. So the only thing that's hot is the inside. So in order to, in, to pack it up, you just unhook these guys. And I don't know what this little red thing is. If it's a thermometer, it doesn't seem to work good, if that's what it is. So to pack it up, you just unscrew the legs. Yeah, it's not, not hot to deal with at all. And there's a two-compartment case for it. So one compartment, you're going to put your, your cooker that zips in there, like so. In one compartment, you're going to put your... Um, your I don't know what you call it, your your oven or your pan or maybe something like that, which is hot, but not probably not enough to melt the plastic right now. And then your legs and your pins. You don't want to lose your pins, okay? So your legs and your pins you'll put on the side here. Is there a strap? No, I guess you just drop them in there. And that is your solar vacuum cooker. And this guy is um, very well cooked. It's a nice crunchy bread. Like I said, in the article that comes along with this, I will put my, um, yeah, it's, it's well cooked. It's probably a little overcooked actually. I didn't realize it. This end didn't cook as well. Um, just like before, um, but I didn't tape the end on it. And, and of course, it, it is still bread, so I, I didn't tape the end here to, to keep it closed. If I if I had taped it, it probably would have come out much more even. But the um, so there's the there's your kind of oven thing, and there's your your bread. So and that obviously just goes right in there. What I didn't show you yet is to look inside of it. For those of you who had a genuine thermos when you were a kid, you can see how it, how it looks inside is exactly the vacuum bulb inside of a thermos. Um, and that's why it heats up so efficiently because that is coated in like a brown coating. And this outside glass, which actually never gets hot, even when the oven is at full bore and it's been in the sun for a while, it never actually gets hot. So that's pretty cool. 
I, I, I think that, that if anyone lives with their son and a pretty reliable son, uh, I just think this thing's a no-brainer. I'll see you next time.